What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon Blaze Black Nuzzle her Egglock, actually. Um, but uh, anywho, in the last episode, we we made our way here to Castelia City and got an encounter, being um, Stash the uh, Sphiel, who I did level up three levels higher than the, uh, he was supposed to because I am stupid. But um, today we are going to be exploring around Castelia City before our fight with Berg because I do not think we are ready in any way, shape, or form. Um, do we have the bike already? I think we get the bike at the, like, yeah, okay. So, um, we're gonna register that. And we're going to use it, because... Otherwise, it's such a pain. But, um... We are going to do a bit of adventuring. We're gonna see if we can, um, get to the desert resort to catch a Pokemon. Um, hopefully get a new encounter. And we're going to be doing a bit of training, um, for Berg, because... Berg is a very difficult um, battle in this hack. He He's a double battle. He starts off the same way as um, Lenora doing a double intimidate on you. Which will um, definitely cause problems. I need... I think we can... I think we can go somewhere to revive these fossils. Um, I will probably look that up. Um to see if we can, if we can do it now. Let's give Stash his debut real quick though. Um, so, Rock Tomb is super effective, I kind of realized that. It lived with one HP, are you kidding me? Stash has taken hits though because of that, um, he's got the Eevee Light, which is helping him just tank everything, but a Craniodose is coming out, so let's go into Ripnik and uh, mud bomb, and one shot like a champ. A swinub. Um, it's going to Herbert. And I've been um, I've been trying to think of how we could possibly um, take this battle without having major issues because I'm hoping we can not have a death because we've already lost Poseidon, which sucked. I would like to point out but um i'm just hoping that in today's episode we can find an area to get a new pokemon and hopefully also be able to um get a few more eggs hopefully something that would be really useful to us i would love um i was thinking maybe get something like a firefighting type so like a Combuskin or a Monferno. So, like, get a Chimchar or a Torchic. But I think his team has some Aerial Ace users, which would definitely be an issue. Like, his team is more... His team is actually, like, perfectly set up to keep you from completely destroying his team. And then I was thinking, a normal type would be really useful. Like, get a, no a bulky normal type or a normal type that hits really hard. So, something like a um, Snorlax would be great, especially because I think you can get Snorlax without um, having to hatch it as a Munchlax, because I think you need, you usually give it the Lax Incense if you want it to be hatching as a Munchlax. But um, if I get a, just a Snorlax instead of a Munchlax, that would be really great, because the chances of it evolving from a Munchlax are like really low in time for that battle. Or get a, um, getting it like a steel fighting type. So like getting, having a Lucario would be amazing. Because, um, it would be able to definitely take hits from basically anything on his team. And probably be able to hit really hard. Let's go into Nick. I think his highest level is like 30 or 32. I think it's 30. So I'm going to level everyone up to like 32-ish. 31, 32. Hopefully not too overleveled for after we actually fight all of his gym trainers. Um, but we need to try to get to the desert resort, which I'm hoping we can get to um, so we can get some encounters. And then I'm going to, I think you go to Nacreen City to revive fossils. What's in here? Oh, cool, a resting house, cool. Um, 
So I think you get to usually the desert resort, like, coming up north, but I don't know if he's going to let you know. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that means no gym for, or no real encounters for us. Um, we do have the fishing rod. I don't know if you can fish in Castelia City, though. Let's find out. Maybe you can. I'm not sure. But, um... We do have some places we could battle um, some trainers. I think in Castelia City. I think there's a place to challenge some trainers. But, um... I don't know if you can go fishing around here. We could, we could go back to old areas and, um... Maybe find some encounters. Because I think we can go, um... We could go all the way back to Striaton if we wanted to, and we can get an encounter there. But I don't. I just want to try to take this episode to prepare us for um, the Berg fight. Get some Pokemon. Get some encounters. Um, maybe we can go to. Maybe it's Nat Green City where you revive Pokemon, and I don't know what level they'll be though. So that could be some grinding for us. <clears throat> but this. Um, this will definitely be a challenge. So. We'll just have to see. Okay, Pinwheel Forest. Um, there are some trainers here, I just kind of realized. So. We can, we can get a little more training. Frisk is kind of taking most of the uh, training, though, so I should probably not be doing that, but let's give Herbert some... Oh, that's you turn, dude. That's not good. A War Turtle. Uh, Drain Punch. Get some health back. Aqua Jet. Drain Punch. Pidgeotto's coming back out. Um, let's go into Stash. I think Stash will be able to um, help with the gym, especially with the Eevee Light on him. So, um, he'll hopefully be a good, um, chance for us, especially because, oh, Herbert's evolving into Hypno, cool. That makes his nickname a lot more true. Oh, God. But, um, this gym will definitely, because he, since he does start off, Berg will start off with Double Intimidate, um, with a Vespa Coin and a Mask Rain. And since he is going to be using special attacks, that'll be no problem for us. And I guess um, Nick Jr. could be helped too, depending on if we're willing to risk a potential rock slide on him, and hoping that, and assuming and hoping that he can take one of those without um, an issue. But um, a sand shoe, I think Sash has this. And I think Dragon Rage, I don't know if Dragon Rage will be much of a use to us at, from this point on. Because I think everyone's going to be like a 2 or 3 hit. And I don't know if we can risk that. Especially during this gym. A Charmeleon. Uh, going to Ripnik. I'm not 100% sure on his um, Berg's team though. Like, I don't know if he has anybody with Mega Drain or like a grass type attack. Because otherwise I would definitely be using... Um, Rip Nick for that, but um, let's get him in here and heal, and then we will go and uh, maybe see if we can. I can't go through there. Good to know, but maybe see if we can um, revive a Pokemon here. I don't know if we can. We may be able to. Um. We talk to this person, maybe? Okay, yeah. Um, the Skull Fossil or the Plume Fossil? So Skull Fossil will turn into a Craniodose, I believe. Um, which we can then trade in. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we need to go... We need to put somebody in the box. So we'll go throw them in with... Um... Oh, we have more boxes. Okay, that's good. Um... Which means I may... Okay, I'm going to move you... I'm going to jump you to... Um, box... 
box 15 and then we'll jump the dead box to what is this box 7 usually or box 8 I'm going to assume it's box 8. Oh, I guessed. Okay. But, um... Let's go to, what, box 16. And then... I'm wasting so much time. But, uh, we're going to put Stash in the box real quick. And we're going to find out what this Craniodos can do for us. Hopefully, he will be transferred to something that will definitely help us a steel type would really be nice like a lucario or something along those lines would be i'm going the wrong way i'm going way wrong way but um give me that cranio dose lady thank you no nickname so let's see what we can get and um what level is this cranio dose 25 so this could be really useful to us or it can really screw us up but um okay, let's see I'm trying to check um okay I uh, found it there we go um so let's see this will be from box number one Pokemon number two. Okay. Alduin. Oh, God. This name already scares me. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, box number two. Okay. Yeah, okay. Alduin. This already scares me a lot. Um. Uh, okay, yeah. I guess we'll take it, I guess. Wait, hold on. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, let's find out what this is. Please be something useful. I'll do in that. I'm assuming it's a dragon type. I will definitely take that to be sh for sure. I'll do in. Alduin. Do I love Skyrim. I would just like to point that out. Um, but anywho, level 25. So, dude, that's a really good name for a dragon type, too. So, level 25. Uh, hold on. There we go. Uh... What is he learning? Bite? Let's find out what his moveset is. Dragon Rage, Fire Fang, Thrash, and Dragon Dance. That is really good. I'm hoping he can take hits, though. So that would be um, very good for us to have. Something who can take hits. Thrash would be useful. We could... Okay, so what we could do, if, if a strategy we could use, is um, start off with somebody who can't... Who's not going to be able to take it, or somebody to take the intimidate, switch into this, and go from there. But you know, let's give up on bite for now. But yeah, like I could start off with um, like Red Robin or something. Red Robin and um, uh, Stash, and then go into Alduin, switching out Red Robin. And we can see where we get from there. So level 25. 3, 24, 25. Ember, no. Okay, but um... That's a really good Pokemon. I think I'm going to switch somebody out for this. I think... I am going to switch out... Um, probably Herbert. I'm going to switch out Herbert for this Bagon. I apologize, Herbert, but we cannot uh, attend to your services right now. Um, I'm going to... Okay, so for the rest of this episode, which isn't... Or probably in the next, like, six-ish minutes, 
we're going to be seeing if I'm going to see if first I'm going to see if we can catch any po other Pokemon in any other areas and then I will go there and then um, we will catch them but I'm going to go check if there's anywhere I can go so um, we will be right back okay so we are here in Striaton City and we are going to see if we can catch up or um, catch up Pokemon for, using the fishing rod that we have um, so we are going to start with that and then we are going to see if there's anywhere else we can go fish which I think there is but um so let's start here it's probably gonna be low leveled but it'll work 15 that's not that bad actually so if we have to it's not too bad but um confuse ray we do need more pokeballs though definitely um so let's see we can start chugging pokeballs at it okay okay confuse ray has been disabled that's not good um i don't know if i can hit this thing with anybody Check moves Water Pulse probably would kill. Ember probably wouldn't kill. Um, so let's go into Nick Jr. And we'll see. We're gonna see if it'll kill itself or not kill itself. But okay, Water Gun we can eat that. I don't think Ember will kill. Okay, just perfectly. Um, we're gonna need more Pokeballs though. So. There we go. Um, that is another Pokemon to hatch. Um, let's get more Pokeballs, and then um, I think we can. I'm gonna go check if there if we can go to uh, Nuvama Town and catch some Pokemon there. So I'm gonna go check that, and if we can, I will do that. I will go there, and if not, then we will just catch a Psyduck, and we will be right. back. So there's nowhere in Numama Town that we can catch a Pokemon, but um, that it's fine. We are going to trade in this um, Psyduck here. But first, we're going to have to put somebody in the box. We'll put I'll do one in the box real quick, um, and we will find out what our Pokemon is going to be. It will be from box number one, Pokemon number. 28 okay so 28 is right here i believe but um there we go it'll be level 15 and its name was sand koopa right yeah it was sand koopa right sand koopa okay um so let us hatch this thing please be something useful Sand Koopa sounds like a very interesting name, and, um... Okay, that actually kind of makes sense, I guess. Sand Koopa, sort of. Um, but this is actually a really good thing to uh, have. So, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Sand Koopa, and it'll be level 15. We will check its moveset. Um, but a rock bug type will actually be really useful. Rock Blast, um, Fury Cutter, X Scissor, Iron Defense, and we'll, we do need, a, we're going to need a rock type move. So we'll teach it Rock Blast. Draw, no. But it'll be level 15. That's a little low leveled, but um, we will definitely, we will definitely use it. Curse, um... We do have Iron Defense, and well, raising our physical attack won't be too bad. 14, 15, 16. I'm going over again, oh my god. I hate everything. I'm stupid. I apologize. I am I keep messing up. But, um, that's like two levels over again. I am nothing but dis disappointment, aren't I? Um, but... Anywho, that is... A good team. I think we are going to have to switch somebody out again. Um, do we want to switch somebody out for this battle? Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to um, Castelia City and I will do some grinding and I'll see who I need um, for this battle. So we will, in the next episode, we will be taking on Berg. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys 
next time.